Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Well, it is official. The end of the world is upon us. Does seem like that a little bit. Here's the, the thing is, is like 2020 has not been for the faint of heart. Am I right? I mean, it's just been, it's been a disaster. It's been a hot mess. It's a dumpster fire, right? But the thing is, every generation fears it's living in its last days. Everyone, right? I didn't live through the 60s, but I heard that was pretty tumultuous. I was born at the tail end of the Cold War, and that was pretty intense. And I am old enough to remember the events of 9-11. Things were pretty bleak back in those days as well. Now, if we're talking about the end of the world, I have to share a little fun fact about this painting because this cheerful painting was inspired by a song about the end of the world. The words are actually from the lyric of a catchy tune from the 80s. Some of you may recognize, I'll Melt With You. It's by a band called Modern English. And lead singer Robbie Gray, who co-wrote the song with his four bandmates, basically exclaimed, I don't know if people realize that this song was about a couple making love as the bomb dropped. As they made love, they became one and melted together. All righty then, right? Another fun fact, though, about this. Bet you didn't know that about that song. Well, here's the, here's the thing. This painting was also the first painting that I ever did live in front of an audience at the first ever Madison Night Market. It was also the first time that I offered my art for sale to people who hadn't just heard me speak. Up until then, I'd only sold my art at speaking engagements after I had just spent an hour sharing the art on a big screen and telling the stories behind it, and I had a captive audience. Here at the night market, my art would be standing on its own, no explanation, no context. And as I painted away, I had my, this was perfect for an introvert because I could put my easel there and I could paint and I could be focused on that and I didn't have to do all the awkward like, hello, how are you? Did you, you know, it was just so much easier to strike up conversation. But one of the cool things, I didn't even realize this would be the case, is as I was painting, I could sort of eavesdrop on people and I could hear them as they were responding to my painting and to the prints and the greeting cards that we had for sale. And what I heard was magic. People were smiling, they were laughing, they were pulling their friends in um, to, to show them, take a look at different pieces. Quite simply, my art made people happy. And that made me feel awesome. I concluded right then and there, if that was the only thing I was ever able to accomplish with my art, it was a worthy calling and it would be enough. Now, it might not seem like a big deal, but it is kind of a big deal because you see in the art world, that's not enough. An artist is supposed to be serious, supposed to make a political statement or disturb people or make them question everything they hold true. That's just not me. I've never been that way. I'm not that guy. And so I don't always fit into that box. But you know what? Here's the way I look at things. I think our world is dark enough. There's enough things weighing in on us. I think we need more beauty and more happiness. Not because we don't know that there's bad things going on in the world, but because those bad things weigh so heavily upon us. And so putting good into the world, making someone happy, bringing a small measure of joy to a fellow human being, to me, that's pretty good too. Which brings me back to the song about apocalyptic hanky-panky. While we wait to see if the world does end on our watch, let's do something productive with our time. It seems like we can find better options to do than rioting in the streets, and cowering in fear in front of our TV screens and ranting on social media. Instead, what is one thing you can do today to make someone's day just a teeny tiny bit brighter? How can you use one of your gifts to make someone happy? It might not seem like much, but it's enough. And these days, it's sort of like an enormous act of rebellion. 
So regardless of when the world ends, think about this. No matter when the world actually does end, we all have a last day coming. Now, I can't say for certain that I will spend it in the fashion described in the aforementioned 80s song. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but if I can make someone happy on my last day, and on as many of them between now and then as possible, I'm good with that. How about you?